Everybody, Fish Tank here. It is the 22nd of January, 2019. Those of you that just watched my uh, tent gear review that I put out two days ago, if you'll remember I did it in the front yard. This is now that front yard. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely got dumped on here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I was going to do another gear review out here, but as you can see, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go inside and we're going to do another gear review. Gear review I'm going to do now, it was my sleep system. Um, one thing about the Pacific Crest Trail, when you're watching videos of the PCT, a lot of people carry this. You see it strapped to the back of their pack. So this one isn't the Thermarest. It's kind of a knockoff brand, in my opinion, just as good. I bought this one in Kennedy Meadows. Um, I started with this Thermarest Z Light Z something or other, I forget exactly what it's called. It was long. Um, it, it, about the time I hit mile 700 and something, it, it was really flattened. So what I did was I cut a chunk of it off, threw the rest away. Um, actually, I think I gave the rest to uh, Fine Schmecker and Chef for a sit pad. That's exactly what I made out of my old one was a sit pad. I tried sleeping one night on this and it didn't work. Um, I woke up about 2 in the morning and I was just hurting so bad that I had to blow up my, my Thermarest. Now, I, did, I, I, I used two different types. For the first 700 miles, I used this Thermarest here. And it's the, I want to say it's the, it's the Pro Light Plus in a large. Um, and this thing is pretty big. Um, what I liked about it is it's self-inflating. So you yeah, undo the little jobber there, and then I'm going to take my sleeping bag and put it right there for a minute. You undo do that little jobber here, and when you unfold it, if you just let it sit for a few minutes, it, it has these little like springy cushion air pockets. It takes less than like 20 breaths to blow in this and, and to, to blow up. Now, I really liked this, this pad. As you can see, it's absolutely filthy. Um, I've even washed it a few times. But what I liked about it is with the sleeping bag design I went with, which was the it's, quilt. This, it wasn't just like your plastic um, uh, air mattress. It almost has a cloth uh, texture to it. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of starting to, uh, to raise and blow itself up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat here. I'm going to give it a couple of quick uh, breaths here. All right, I'm dizzy. So that took 14 breaths, and this is the large. And as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty taunt. Yeah, it's it's pretty wide, and you get almost you, you almost get a couple of inches of padding, really super wide. Again, that's the uh, let me see this, babe. That's the Thermarest Pro Light Plus Large, and they come with a serial number on it. Um, so I did the first 702 miles with this, but then once I hit Kennedy Meadows, I really tried to slim up my pack. Uh, that's when I went from the big, longer tent stakes to the smaller tent stakes. And uh, I, I, I thought I could save a few ounces and some space in my pack. So I won't say I upgraded, I won't say I downgraded. I went to a different sleep pad. It's still the Thermarest. I just went with one size smaller. So I'm going to take this one out. All right, everybody, so I've got it out of the case. And I'll get to that. I'll tell you about something right now. I don't like, I don't like these, these bags that they come in. Um, it, I, if, a, if I was using this just, you know, a couple of times a year, or maybe on like a weekend or a week-long camp, that would be one thing. But every single day for four to five, three to four to five months, it just got to be too much of a pain to roll it up tight enough uh, to get it in this bag. Uh, you'll find on the trail, at least I found on the trail, um, in the morning when you wake up, you, you, you want to get gone. You don't want to sit and monkey around with these. So I didn't, I didn't use these. I actually used a, a different bag. But So I'll unravel this one. And remember, the other one took, what, 14 breaths? So this is the same company, same brand, but this was the... This is the Thermarest Pro R. So there's the big one I started with. There's the smaller one. Hand this back off to Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. So I'll loosen it. And again, if I just if I had just left it like that, maybe while I'm setting up my tent or something, it would start, and you can kind of see it, it kind of starts to self, it kind of starts to self-inflate. But I'm gonna blow in this, we'll give it some counts. Just 13 to 14 for the big one. I 
yeah, it was what nine breaths. So you can you can see you can see the difference in size here. Um, not so much in the length, but it, but really in the width, and also in the thickness. Um, this one kind of has the gray backing. This one kind of has the same. But it's the same. It's the same material. And what I liked about it, oops, and what I liked about it is I used a quilt, which means my bare body was laying on this. And some of the other sleeping pads that I I tried before the trail were just that plastic, um, just just a plastic feel. And it, if I was sweating at all, it stuck to my skin. It, it kind of reminded me of a little kid hopping in at the old, the old Buick Skylark with shorts on and that vinyl. You kind of stick to this. I didn't like this. This almost felt like it had a sheet on it. So it's almost a cloth-like texture, which I think added to the strength. Um, again, I used this for 700 miles, and I used this for about 500 miles. I never got a hole in any of these. And uh, the bad thing about the cloth texture is they do... You spill anything on them, it, you know. You can see right. You can see where my feet went every night. It's just absolutely filthy, um, and it is, you know, it is what it is. Really liked these. Um, I, I I will be continuing the trail with the smaller one. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the lighter the bigger one. Now the bigger one, as Sid can kind of get a profile there. You can see that bigger one is quite a bit thicker, but you know you're a through you're a through hiker. You're a long you know a section hiker. Uh, it saves space in your pack and it saves uh, it saves a uh, weight. Now, uh, so I'm going to put this down, kind of introduce that. Now, let's get back to this. The reason I carried this, I think one of the reasons why I had so much success in not puncturing a uh, a, a match uh, air pad was this went down first. So in my tent, I had my Tyvek and I had my Z Pack Z Duplex, which we talked about in the last video. But then inside my tent, this was the first thing that went down. Uh, went down just like that inside the tent. Um, and then this went on top of that. Um, I'm in my quilt. So in reality, for very little weight and little inconvenience, that blue, this blue pad here, uh, or this original uh, Z-Lite, Z whatever it's called, uh, Thermarest I used, it just adds you know, a really good, uh, a really good uh, uh, sleep system. The, the insulation rating on both of these is, is really, really good. Okay, so now I want to talk about my sleeping bag, which in my, I've seen a lot of vlogs where people say, what was your favorite piece of hiking gear? This was my favorite piece of hiking gear was this sleeping bag. Um, actually, it's a quilt. Um, I, uh, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, so I went with the Enlightened Equipment, and these are spendy. But I, I want to say, once a year they offer like a 30% off sale online. The nice thing about these is you can you custom you can custom pick the colors. Um, I went with black and yellow, two of my favorite colors. And those of you that aren't really familiar with the quilt, I'll kind of show you how it looks. I'm going to take the camera from Sydney. She's going to go over in the living room. We're gonna, we're going to lay this thing out so you can kind of uh, understand how the quilt concept works. A lot of you may already know this, so uh, yeah, I don't say that to be demeaning or condescending at all, quite honestly, but I've never used a quilt before. I didn't even know kind of how it worked. Um, so if, if you already know that, you can fast forward or just maybe go get yourself a coffee or a diet Mountain Dew and then come back and catch the rest of the, the review. So we'll turn this off. I'm going to have Sydney help out a little bit and we'll get back to you guys in just a second. All right, Sydney here, my little 13 year old helper here. Sydney, say hi. Hello. All right, so Sydney's gonna. So that's the that's the enlightened equipment, and I went with a ten degree. Go ahead and undo that, Sid, so it kind of all lays out flat. All right, so Sydney's got it all laid out. So the interesting thing with the quilt, as you can see, it's 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 just exactly that. It's a quilt. Sydney so, will fold it over and kind of we'll kind of show you how this hooks up. It's only got like a quarter length zipper down here at this end, and I'll have her do up the zipper first, which is just just the bottom part. And as you can see, it's got a drawstring. And it's it's a tube, uh, and, and I really really like that feature. It's got a couple of snaps to keep uh, pressure off that that zipper. Got one here down at the bottom too. Right down here, Sid. Okay. And then what it's got is it's got these three. 
uh, or yeah, three stretch, almost uh, not bungee type, but these just stretch um, uh, buckles that you uh, you snap in, and they're completely adjustable. And you snap those. A snap at the top. All right, so that that's that's how it's it's all. Yeah, don't pull that yet, babe. That's how it's all kind of done up. Now go get the small sleeping pad that we put over there. So then what you do is you slide that that uh, air mattress. You slide that in there, flip it upside down, and that's what you're laying on. Um, all right, so Sydney's brought back the Thermarest, the, the the large, not the not the big one, the smaller one. I'm going to hand the camera off to her, and then I'll kind of explain how this all works. All right, so what I did is once I had my tent set up and I threw down my, my blue uh, Z light pad, uh, I wanted to be laying on this this end. So what I did is I took this, I slid. that in there, just like that, okay, and then I flipped it upside down, and that's my quilt, then you come down here, you've got the drawstring there, and they are extremely strong, and that shuts that completely, the nice thing about that is if you're too warm, you can loosen these just a little bit, and get a little air going through there. Very seldom did I do that. I usually had mine all like that. So then, you slide inside your bag. It's being held by these and kept taut. As you're inside your, your quilt, this is your bottom section. Again, why I liked kind of the cloth feel of the Thermarest. Then, if it's, you know, you can, if it's really cold, you can take the, the drawstring here up top. And you can cinch it up right around your neck or completely enclose yourself in it, which I never had to do. Um, if you want more room, a little looser up top, just undo the one snap. Then you can kind of, you know, fold it down. If you want more room, or you, if, if you're too, if it feels too much like a mummy bag, then just loosen these a little bit. And then as you fold it over, you'll get more, more, more space up through here. So, so, I really liked the system here. I, I like to be able to put this down uh, first as a, a protective barrier, a little more insolent from the ground, um, although with these you really don't need it. The R value is pretty high. I want to say the R value on this big one is like a 4.4 and this was maybe like a 2.7 or something like that. You can get online and check that out. Um, you can also check out the costs online. Um, they're right around $100, I think. But the nice thing about this is uh, it just it acted as a pro uh, an additional protective barrier uh, to protect uh, you know an expensive piece of equipment you know your your uh, your 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 qu your sleeping quilt um, and I want to say that was around four hundred dollars um, I, I really liked this uh, I I wouldn't recommend getting one of these and doubling it as a sit sit pad and as a as a cushion because what happens is you 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 get out there and you you sit down and you you Thorns will stick up in this and then separate and get lodged in here and they'll they'll be almost you know hidden from the eye you don't see them until until you put some pressure on it and you squeeze it and then it's like the hypodermic needle effect coming through um, and as you can see I had uh, I found a couple of thorns right right up there where my fingers you can see the holes and and I didn't I didn't even know those thorns were there until I I compressed it and then then I felt them because um, I did on occasion. Uh, before I learned what was happening, I did use this as a sit pad, and then I went with something like this. Um, I don't think I'd carry both. I did that for a while. It, it, the weight is so minimal. It, it just was bulky. So I, I, I doubt I'll go with the sit pad option for the second half. Um, so it's one of the things I didn't like. Um, the, the negatives about... I, I got no, zero negatives about the, the sleeping quilt. They don't come with a stuff sack. What I used was a... C to Summit, and it's right here. So I got this blue C to Summit um, uh, deal. I want to say it's the Cordura fabric by C to Summit with the with the buckle top. It worked just perfect for my 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 sleeping quilt. Nothing bad to say about the sleeping quilt. The issue I had with these is that, like I said before, I 
do not like this deal that they come with. Um, what I would and, it, and it, they take up uh, quite a bit of space in your pack. What I'm going to try to do for the second half of the PCT is I'm going to go down to like a, an REI or a, here in Utah we've got a place called Kirkham's uh, and they're, they're a manufacturing uh, type place. Uh, they'll do like custom tent bags and I'm going to see if they can custom make me uh, uh, a bag to carry this that I won't have to double it over and roll it up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get one that's the, the width and I'll roll this thing up like you'd roll up a mat or you know, like, you know, like a like Christmas tree wrapping type paper and slide it in that and then stick it on the outside of my pack. Um, I wouldn't want to stick it on the outside of my pack without it being somewhat protected because you set it down, you go by trees, it gets scraped. But um, absolutely nothing bad to say about uh, the sleeping quilt that I used. When you order them, it comes in a kind of a, a like a burlap sack and it shows the manufacturer date and you, you pick you pick how much fill you want in it, you pick the thickness, you can pick the colors, you can really, really cool and I even sign it, you know, whatever technician um, built your specific uh, quilt for you, they sign it with a date and a serial number. It's actually really, really cool. Extremely professional. They are spendy, but if you wait until they have that sale, probably Google their website and I want to say it was 30% off and it, it was like a 10 day sale, so you might want to check into that if that's the, the, the way you want to go. Um, again, I love these. I liked that it had a cloth feel to it. Um, when I slept at night, very rarely did I did I put something else on. I usually just slept with just my underwear. Um, the only time I did start putting on some sleep uh, insulation, like pants and top, once I hit parts of the Sierras, and it wasn't for it wasn't for warmth. It was I was putting so much DEET on my body. DEET can eat away cloth, um, and I didn't want my bare skin against my sleeping quilt because it was it's so much money. So I put you know an insulant on uh, pants and a top. Uh, but just with me just in my underwear, this was uh, almost like sleeping on a sheet. Um, it wasn't bad at all. So again, I'm not saying this is the absolute best way to go. Um, this is what worked for me and I was really super happy with it. I probably could have survived with a 20 degree bag, but I just, I just like that 10 degree. Um, there was a, a one or two times when it just got really, really, really cold and I was absolutely fine. Some of the nights I cowboy camped, um, you know, prior to, just after Kennedy Meadows, one night I cowboy camped, I forget exactly the name of it, it's the bridge with all the swallows. Um, I cowboy camped and I woke up with about a half of inch of ice all over my the top of my my quilt and I was in fact it was the night that the mouse ran in um, it was one of the last nights I cowboy camped actually because I, I didn't like that mouse he ran in and I was kind of trying to smack it and it, I, it wasn't a fun way to wake up and my daughter's back there <laughs> laughing so but as you can see they're everywhere. So last night was interesting. I had a mouse crawl in my tent or my sleeping bag. Most everybody used a tent, but I didn't. I cowboy camped because it's just easier. But I think the days of cowboy camping are coming to an end because I woke up with an inch of ice on my sleeping bag. I was warm because I have a good bag, but now it's a pain in the butt getting everything to dry. Can't pack it away wet. So then you have to wait the sun to come up to let everything to dry out and the whole mouse incident kind of turned me off a little bit I felt him run across my neck and it woke me up so I swatted at him and he went down in my bag before he escaped I can't blame him it's a warm bag so but the, I never ever ever once got cold so big fan of the thermarest um, I wouldn't go with the large like I did. I'd probably go with the or the Pro Light Plus large. I would go with just the Pro R. That's that's what that one was. Um, worked great for me. Zero problems. Uh, a lot of people I hiked with had they you got holes in their sleeping pads and they had to buy new ones. Or I never saw anybody get a hole in one of these. Now the bad thing about these is if you do get a hole in them, 
you don't patch these. They don't, they don't, uh, this kind of material is not something. At least they didn't come with a patch kit, and I've never heard of anybody patching them. It's, it's kind of, it, it is what it is. But they've got, also got a pretty good guarantee. All right. One other thing, I, I, uh, I actually did this whole video, and I forgot to even discuss pillows, um, because I didn't really use one. Um, I did start the trail out with this uh, Cocoon Ultralight Air Core Travel Pillow. Um, it's fish tanks. Um, uh, sleep gear for adventure. Um, I found this in REI. It, the brand is Cocoon, like I said. Um, doesn't weigh much. Uh, definitely, the weight isn't wasn't really the issue. The issue I had, well, let me show it to you first. Um, great little pillow. The issue I had is it just it just kind of slid all over the place. Um, one side's kind of a cloth texture, which is nice. The other's kind of this silky um, texture. If I had the silky texture down, it slid all over the place. If I had the cloth texture down, I'm a real warm sleeper. My face against this silky stuff was just sweaty and I'd wake up and it'd almost be sticking to me. But um, the way this works, whoops. What's that, six, six breaths? Probably could have done a couple more. Basically, that's it. I mean, it's a nice pillow. Um, nothing bad to say about it. What I found was inside my pack, I had a, I had a food bag. I kept all my food in, and I also had a clothing bag. What I, what I did was I just took that clothing bag and doubled it over once or twice, and that clothing bag acted as a pillow. So I started out the trail with this, but I want to say I sent this home from, I think it was Tehachapi. I sent it home, didn't use it, didn't need it, but it wasn't a bad pillow. So there you go. So we'll leave it at that. I hope this finds everybody healthy, happy, and well. Thank you so much for, for watching the videos. We sure have a fun time doing them. I can't wait to get back on trail. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Um, but Enlightened Equipment, Thermarest, huge fan. It worked for me. It's going to work for me the second 1,300 miles, and uh, it's, it's going to be great. So, hope you guys have a great day. Fish team.